We're starting out with some pretty sunshine in Springfield. It's 67 degrees on south and southeast winds at 7 miles per hour. That dew points at 60, getting a little bit stickier. Temperatures are running about 5 degrees warmer than they were yesterday. It is 67 in Springfield, 64 degrees in Monette, and 61 degrees in Mountain Grove. The muggy meter still looks fine as far as some greens and some pleasant conditions out there, but we are starting to sneak in some more of those yellows. A little bit warmer out there today. Mostly sunny skies at the pool, temperatures in the middle 80s with a very high UV index. At the fair, we'll keep things feeling fine. Temperatures a little bit warmer at 85 degrees by 5. We'll have some clear conditions by the evening. Temperatures in the 70s and still feeling not too bad. The Cardinals play game at home tonight. 83 degrees for that first pitch at 710 on Hammonds Field. A low to middle 80s as we had through the day today. Middle 60s overnight tonight. We'll have temperatures a little bit closer to 90 degrees tomorrow, which is average. Average for this time of year. We're looking at a little bit of a hot and sticky weekend at the fair. Temperatures up near 90 Saturday and Sunday, but still dry and still not oppressive. Scattered showers and storms roll through by Monday with a temperature of 86 degrees there. We're looking at a couple of showers possible to the south and east by Tuesday. Another high pressure rolls in Wednesday and Thursday with sunshine. Joe? The Ozark Empire Fair opened its gates last night. And of course, Lauren Barnes stopped by for the first day. Liked it so much, she's back there this morning. Good morning, Lauren. How are you? Hey, good morning, Joe. That's right. Last night was super fun. This morning we got here, it was dark outside, and I was like, you know, this fun house is kind of creepy. But now that the sun's up, I'm enjoying it. I'm just trying to figure out if I'm in jail or what we have going on here. So, I don't know. It's, it's fun, though. It's called Rumble in the Jungle, and I, I think I'm going to have to go on a tour after the show's over. I met some folks I want to tell you about last night, though. They are dedicated to the Ozark Empire Fair. Four generations of the same family have been coming here every single year, and Grandma says her favorite thing to do is ride rides. How cool is that? Is it the neon lights, the smell of freshly dipped corn dogs? <laughs> no? Maybe it's the sticky smiles that stick with you like you just pressed pause. There's something about the powdered sugar filled air of the Ozark Empire Fair that makes time slow down. Well, I've been coming here since I was 10 years old, so like 55 years. Deborah Appleby is passing along the tradition with her five grandkids, including Miss Mackie Powell. It might be your first date at the fairgrounds or your 33rd. Come on out to the fair. You won't be disappointed. It's always part of the summer tradition to come to the fair. Every year for 33 years, except we missed one year when he broke his leg a week before the fair. We had to sit out. A lot of laughter and it's just a Missouri type tradition. Making memories for a lifetime, memories worth replaying. Now here's the really fun part. I'm going to see if I can talk and not bust my bottom at the same time, okay? Um, the Applebee's told me the secret. They always come on the first night of the fair because it's the least packed. And they were right. Despite the beautiful weather, it was pretty calm here last night. But I think people are holding out for the deal. So let me tell you about those. There are some specials coming up next week. Monday is $3 day. So that means parking's 3 bucks. Some food is $3. Admission is $3. Rides are $3. That's a good deal. Tuesday is service day. So if you are a veteran, if you're in the military right now, or if you're a first responder, you're a police officer, you can get in for free. And then Wednesday is free ride day. So everyone rides free. Joe and Elisa, I think we need to make a trip Wednesday, maybe. I'm all right for a trip Wednesday. So Lauren, you've had a lot going on this morning. One thing we haven't done yet is talk about food. We talked about that on open mic. Do you have a favorite fair food? Yeah, and this is probably an unpopular opinion. I might throw you for a loop here, but the euros are actually <laughs> one of my favorite fair food items. What about you? Are you classic funnel cake or? Uh, the funnel cake smell is always great, but I always like going for salty instead. So I like yeah. some ribbon fries, you know, those spiraled potato. That's always good to have, right? Oh, do I know? Yeah, I have a feeling here pretty soon the smells are going to start coming out because the fair opens at 11. Elisa will be here at midday, so everyone needs to tune in for that too. We'll see if we can get her to bring us back some euros and some spiral fries. How about that? I like that a lot. And you got the fair pretty much to yourself right now, so will you be able to enjoy a little bit? I hope that you do because there's no one else around. 
Yeah. Well, like I said, now that the sun's up, I can enjoy it. I was a little bit on edge, like looking for clowns up here around the corner. But it's just been some folks on golf carts checking it out, making sure everything's ready to go for 11. We saw the farmers down taking care of the Holsteins, which will be shown today. So I'm going to give myself a little tour. I think that's a good idea. All right, great. Lauren Barnes out at the fair. Thanks so much for checking back in with us here on Daybreak. FEMA is planning on having a booth at the fair as well to assist some of those who suffered damage from recent tornadoes, severe storms, or flooding. The booth will be there when the fair opens at 11. The Disaster Survivor Assistance Team can help people from Green, Pulaski, and Jasper counties register for assistance, check their application status, and give more information when available. Making news now, future changes in zoning ordinances for tiny homes are currently being considered after a plans and policy committee meeting. City officials are looking to change the ordinance for tiny homes because the current zoning ordinance doesn't define tiny homes, their communities, recreational vehicles, or parks and campgrounds. This means that if nothing is done, then tiny homes may be constructed right next to any other single family house in certain districts. So, since those homes on wheels and park model structures are not defined, they won't be allowed at all. And because of the way the zoning ordinance is set up, if it's not defined and listed as a permitted use, then it's not permitted, similar to short-term rentals. So we're, um, we're, coming, we're going to be coming forward with some amendments to the zoning ordinance that will really bring it in line with this emerging tr trend of, of uh, tiny houses. So the city is looking for your comments, specifically at this stage, some possible locations that you think tiny homes can be built in Springfield and to any types of regulations you think should be associated with them. For instructions on how to give your opinions, just go over to OzarksFirst.com. In a local spotlight, a high school student is making a difference for other women in her community by collecting bras. It's called Bra Palooza. Megan Vauder started it. She's an incoming senior at New Covenant Academy and got the idea after learning through a project on homeless women and hygiene that bras are one of the items shelters that shelters and clothing banks get very few of. Admission to last night's event was a new garment to be donated. 505. I decided that if it goes over really well, I'm going to do it again next year. Check out the event on Facebook. Um, there's a lot of information about it on there. Um, you can private message me. I'm a host, and my mom, Bonnie Vodder, is also a host. If you'd like to help and didn't attend the event last night, you can always drop items off directly at Harmony House and least of these. To your education coverage, Missouri State and Ozarks Tech are teaming up to make sure students graduate sooner. The two schools have combined to make what is the 2 plus 2 transfer plan agreement. So it's easier to transfer your college credits from OTC to MSU. OTC students have to complete an Associate of Arts degree, which takes two years. Then students are eligible to transfer to MSU. They won't have to take any additional education courses or repeat the same classes unless it's specifically required for the student's major. It's basically a map in place. It's a course plan. So when they decide on uh, the degree that they want to study for, they can look at this course plan, see the sequence of courses that they need to take, and then uh, they can take the courses, uh, their core courses at OTC, and then come to Missouri State. And again, it helps them avoid duplication of courses. The agreement will be completed on August 1st, and so far 35 plans are already being worked on. Planned Parenthood is closing in northwest Arkansas. The decision to close comes after challenges, including protests and safety concerns for patients and staff. The only other abortion provider in the state is Little Rock Family Planning Services, which provides surgical abortions up to 21 weeks. Nearly 2,000 patients were seen at this clinic each year. A Nixa man is expected to be arraigned in circuit court this morning. 63-year-old Kenneth Powers is facing multiple felony charges, including kidnapping and armed criminal action. A statement says he entered Edmonds Dental Prosthetics and held an employee hostage this past April. He allegedly was looking for a supervisor who had fired his son six years ago. An employee was able to tackle Powers and disarm him. In more local news, the 12th class of Change 1000 is graduating today. That'll take place at 2 o'clock at the Missouri Job Center. Change 1000 is a skills academy that teaches participants resume writing, interview skills, and soft skills like proper work etiquette. It is taught through Bryan College. Let's take a look now at what's coming up for you on CBS This Morning.
I'm Tony DeCopel. Coming up, meet the 11 year old skateboarding phenom who hopes to compete with the world's best athletes in the 2020 Olympics. That's coming up on CBS This Morning. All right, you got any Google Trends happening? <laughs> Do you? I've been busy. <laughs> um, the fair. People, fair food. Oh, no, I was going to tell you, people are really jumping on this Area 51 thing. Okay, it's on right. the Google thing. They're piggybacking off of that now, trying to move Halloween to the last Saturday of October. What are your thoughts? For what? So they can Instead storm of always, the always area? being no, no, nothing about that. They're oh. saying this petition went well, so now there's a new one circulating about moving Halloween. I We've just need talked your thoughts about on that. It. We talked about that last year. Yeah, it was brought up, and now people are thinking if a million people can agree on Area 51, maybe we can move Halloween. I disagree, gang. Because I, I know you would want to change or have everybody have off on Super Bowl Monday, right? Yeah. That's the better. That is exactly what needs to happen. Seriously. Hmm. Yeah, I don't really feel strongly about moving Halloween to a Saturday. I think it's okay. It's trick or treating for the little kids shouldn't go that yeah. late anyway, you know? So. All right. We don't need to bore people, though, with Halloween talk. We can just talk about, though, the fair. Yeah, I'm excited for this. And Lauren seems to be having a good time. You're going out there in a few hours, right? Yeah, I'll be there for the midday. I'm excited. Um, anything you can eat on a stick is what I know fairs to be like, you know? Yeah, like, pretty much literally chicken on a stick. I've mm -hmm. had pie on a stick, fried Oreos. And All good. And we're good weather-wise today for this weekend, right? Really nice through the weekend. We're really lucky out because there's lots going on in the Ozarks this weekend. 86 today, mostly sunny. Temperatures near 90, a little bit stickier this weekend. Storm chance does not roll through until Monday. All right. Wow. Good we like it. And look, look at, that at shot. how gorgeous that is. Unbelievable, right? Beautiful. All right. Get out there, enjoy the fair, everyone. Have yourself a good weekend. Thanks for starting your Friday with us on Daybreak.